Well, I am elated, but sad um, at the same time. But I think it's an opportunity that with the country as a whole should endorse and should be happy for because it's the first in our history where one of our own will be at such a senior position in the IMF. So we are extremely grateful and we wish Nigel all the best and we want to thank him for his service to Jamaica and by extension Northwest St. Andrew. Well, I can say safely that people, there, it's a mixed bag. Most people are sad because they think that he's doing an excellent job, meaning our constituents, that he's doing an excellent job and, you know, they, they would have wanted him to continue. But those, you have another set who's saying, boy, it's a good move and we wish him all the best. So that's basically it. Some are happy and some are sad. Well, personally, I'm happy for Duane. Um, I think he has waited his turn. He has gone the course. And I am certain that he will make an excellent member of parliament because he has gotten the training, the requisite training that is. Some people might be a little bit worried about his maturity, but I've been fielding calls all morning and I'm telling him that he's six years older. So he's a much more, I would say, senior man than six years ago. So I think he's over 40 now. So we can expect a level of maturity from him um, going forward. And I think Dwayne will um, make an exceptional MP. Again, it's a mixed bag. You have some persons who I've said before who think that he's a little bit immature, but I'm telling them, look here, that is the doing of the past. I mean, six years, man, is almost 42 years now. So I'm certain, and I can speak personally, that he has matured, he has grown, and he has always given me um, sound advice. So there is no two way that he would, uh, is definitely going to be a, a, an excellent member of parliament.